on this episode of Cultivating Soils 101 with a Soil King, we're going to talk about the difference between big root soil and some of its competitors. I'm going to set the bar straight. I get a lot of people, you know, they're doing side-by-sides and they just want to plant in this and plant in that, but they're not talking about the inputs and the quality and the certifications that are in the soils or not in the soils and what actually the soils are using to produce that plant. So that's a key element, really a key element. When you're doing a side-by-side or even you're growing in some of my competitors, they use what's called, uh, there's two things that really set the bar and, and differentiate what my soil is and why, you know, I built this soil. It says, you know, design for growers, by growers is because I wasn't going to use municipality green waste compost where it's full of toxicity, chemicals, fucking pesticides, plastics, pharmaceuticals. And that's one thing. That's a whole nother subject I'll get into another, uh, another lesson on. But let's talk about nitrilized sawdust. Okay. So nitrilized sawdust, I do not use. One of the main reasons I decided to go and start making my own soils a long time ago. Nitrilized sawdust is an, is an ammonium nitrate, condensed urea, you know, chem, chemically processed urea, which is in the form of, of ammonium. And the byproduct is nitrates, and the byproduct of that is, is sodium. Like that's what it is. And uh, you can, uh, the process of making that is they grab big sawdust piles, small, you know, eighth inch minus quarter inch minus wood chips. Doesn't matter what type of wood chips, could be hard pine, it could be redwood from Northern California, but you can nitrilize this stuff in any, anywhere around the world, really. So they take these 300 gallon totes, and even bigger than that, one after another, and they dilute them. And they spray this stuff onto redwood chips. And it's, it's, what it is is immediate nitrates. That's what it is. It's conversion that goes back to sodium. I mean, goes back to uh, ammonium. And you ever smell ammonium out of a bag? Well, you know that's, that's what it is. It's, you know. Um, or a lot of times people will use too much cow manures or chicken manures, and you'll get that ammonium smell. But that's a different application because that's coming right out of the poop. That's not coming out of a, a factory that's uh, producing and processing this uh, nitrilized sawdust and you know synthetic products. So with that, when you spray this on and you let it sit, you can drop a plant in it and all of a sudden those nitrates, that plant will absorb it, that plant will systemically uptake it and you'll see the plant taking off. It'll look like great growth. It'll keep growing up and then all of a sudden it'll get weak, spindly, Root diseases happen. There's no biology in there that, you know, chemical warfare that the chemical warfare that comes from synthetic products like, uh, you know, like uh, nitrilized sawdust. It's a biology killer. So the difference between a plant can uptake at the same rate. I mean, it can uptake synthetic versus organic. Organic, it's going to be a lot slower. It's got living organisms, biology, and everything doing the whole symbiotic relationship underneath the soil. And then you have synthetic. That's why you can overuse synthetic and it burns your plant. Your plant can't turn it off. It just absorbs whatever you put in. That's what drain to waste is designed for. Cocoa, you pour it in, the waste comes out. The waste comes out before it converts to sodium. It destroys everything, right? But in that process, any biology that's living in that, it's killing it immediately off. We don't like drain to waste. Like, I don't like that word. I want to, I, I love that you are pouring in water and the soil is doing the work with the biology and the fungal in a, you know, in a symbiotic relationship and adding value to the plant, making it strong, giving it a pharmaceutical uh, hospital of integrity underneath the plant, right? That's what it's doing. It's creating a whole colony of microbiology and uh, ammonium nitrate destroys that. And that's uh, what they use in nitrilized sawdust. So when you're doing a side-by-side with uh, like Fox Farm, you know, Roots Organic, or all these compost facilities everywhere use this in big scale, right? This is their trick. It's cheap. You could take cheap redwood, cheap uh, sawdust, and you could put this cheap ammonium nitrate and call it nitrilized sawdust, and you apply it to any kind of compost, and those nitrates will immediately 
make that plant grow. And then that plant will poop out. So you got to keep adding more and more and more. And then you're trying to figure out why is I'm have why am I having root problems? Why am I having uh, you know uh, bug problems under the soil? Why is my plant falling over? Why doesn't it look healthy? Why was the wind blow? It goes over like this. It's because it has no living structure. Systemically, in the soil, that soil is producing systemically all those nutrients, all those colonies of of uh, microbes and and you know biology and that's systemically moving up and down the plant when you don't have that that structure of the plant is unhealthy just like the human body right if you're going to drink coca-cola all day long and you're going to take uh, you know a bunch of pharmaceuticals and you're going to drink and you're going to do everything unhealthy and add no value you're still going to stay alive i mean hopefully you're not going to feel that well but if you change yourself to a, you know, an authentic or organic, vegan, or really healthy diet, you know, and start taking care of your body, your body's going to start producing. It's going to start feeling well. Same thing with our plant. We have the exact same concept as our plant. So when you're doing a side-by-side, -side, let that plant grow and really understand what is going on in the soil. Like we, at Soil King, we add everything we possibly can to make that organic compounds and to make that plant have the most success out the gate. You'll see healthy healthy trunks. You'll see your not spindly little branches coming off all over the place, but actually structured branches, right? The wind comes, it does this, it doesn't do this. And you know, that's the difference. So when you're doing a side-by-side -side comparison, really know where the inputs come from, know what's in that soil, know that there's you know, no horrible green waste compost i'm not using nitrilized sawdust as a trick right and uh you know you're you're, you're able to produce something that you consume can consume and eat any way you want to if it's a tomato if it's a doobie you're consuming a product that is grown with ethical and responsible farming practices and that's the difference. And, and like I said, I'm not, this isn't a video to knock down my competitors, just to educate what the difference is to, you know, you cultivators out there. It's educating. This, all this information was freely given to me, you know, and I absorbed it as a sponge and designed the product for, from growers for growers, right? That's what we did and, and with this kind of knowledge. So, you know, and just uh, synthetics do not support life in the soil. It actually kills the life in the soil. I mean, that's what synthetics do. So, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put some stuff in the comments so you can kind of see, you know, backing up some factual data to this. But just one next thing, when you guys are really thinking about it and you're doing side by side, not only watch the plant, you know, Big Roots is gonna grow a strong plant. It's not gonna shoot up real fast, but this plant is never gonna, it's like the turtle in the race. This one's never gonna make it quite to the finish line. You're gonna have to dump a bunch of more stuff in here because you have root problems. You're gonna have all kinds of stuff happening. Branches are gonna be breaking. It's gonna be spindly. This one's just gonna keep steady the race. Right? It's gonna win every time. But that's the difference. Like you have IPAs and you have, you know, the Bud Light, Coors Light. So they're not in compete. So make sure we level, level things up when we're going there. There's the Walmart you know, of the world, and then there's the, you know, mom and pop, and the, you know, integrity, there's the, there's the organic food section in, in a grocery store, right, versus just the, uh, just the produce section, just a little bit of knowledge, a little FYI, and, uh, you know, I'll keep making these little videos, I'm not trying to piss off my competitors, I just, you know, why, when you buy a bag of Big Roots, <laughs> there's integrity in that bag, there's backing. There's you got the owner of the company talking to you right now. You know we can always do better. Even me, I make mistakes. I'm not saying I don't, but I can tell you right now that you know, there's, this is a this is a, a great soil, and there's a lot of better ways with a lot of Korean natural farming practices that we're going with King Kashi compost out next. And all, you know, I love what I do. Who I am. <laughs> yep. I'm just some dude. Hope that helped. Any questions below? I'll try to answer them.